right. All right. Okay. Hey everyone. I am jumping on just really quick to make an announcement that I think is very important and I'm just going to wait until I see a few of you jump on and I want to make this um, for my YouTube community and my Facebook community. So just going to wait a few moments because man are we super excited to see the word of the Lord literally coming to pass in this generation. So again, I'm just going to wait a few minutes. The The update that I want to share just because of the algorithms and all of that going on with social media, I want to get you guys to help me out. So I'm going to create a post premiering my broadcast tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And this word that I will be releasing is very weighty. And the Lord told me to call it the end of an error. Okay? The end of an error. A major error, which is Roe versus Wade. And what is happening to the heart of this nation, why the Lord has had so many of us prophesying the rebirth of the nation, the rebirth of the church. Um, there's so many things that God is speaking. And so I wanted to just make this quick announcement. I don't know how many of you are going to come on right now, but I'm going to make it short again. Please share this with your other Facebook friends and prayer warriors, prophetic groups, that I will be premiering a live broadcast tomorrow, which is May the 5th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, really going deep in what the Spirit of God said to me May of 2019 when he woke me up. And the moment that I woke up upon rising, I heard the Spirit of God say, I am bringing great ratification to my sons and daughters. And I didn't even understand that term. Um, the Lord began to speak to me all kinds of governmental terms, ratification, amendments in the Constitution. And the Lord began to say there was a ratifying era, E-R-A. And so this was when the Lord spoke to me about ending Roe versus Wade, that there would be the new amendment abolishing abortion like slavery was abolished. And so I'm going to be going deep tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time to share about this encounter with the Lord, to share about how the Lord was so serious about it that he sent me to Washington, D.C., to literally stand on the soil of the Supreme Court in the in Washington, D.C. He had me roar a very serious word that there will be no more Achilles heel in the heart of this nation. And like a master says to a dog, heal, right? So shall I bring healing to this nation as I destroy the Achilles heel that has been in this nation setting up and erecting pillars of perversion. So I know there's only a few of you watching right now and that's okay because I know what Facebook has been doing with their algorithms and their censorship. So I'm just going to do the best I can, but thank you. And I just praise you, Lord, that you are going to reach every one of your warriors and those that need to hear this message to really celebrate what you are doing. It is the end of an error in this new era that we are entering into, seeing this nation reborn like the days of Pentecost, seeing amazing things that are happening, seeing these unbelievable Asher poles falling, seeing 
God moving and tearing apart these false gods and these principalities that have absolutely been perverting this nation for too long when abortion was legalized in the heart of this nation in 1973. And here we are, and this is the most exciting time to be in, watching God show off and take hold of the yoke of this nation that's been yoked to Babylon and breaking it and watching this nation return to be yoked to Yahweh, to be yoked to the gospel of Jesus Christ, honoring righteousness and restoring the posture of this nation and restoring a holy covenant with a holy God. So I'm excited. Okay, I see you guys starting to come on now. Hold on, I'm not seeing comments. So if you guys can, there we go. Praise God, there's Joyce. Okay, there's Joyce. Hey James, it's good to see you on here. Okay, I don't know how much you guys have heard, but I'm gonna kind of go back a little bit and say that Please, please, please spread the word because I will be doing a live broadcast tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the word of the Lord is the end of an error, E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, error, which is Roe versus Wade. And I know there's been so many different people, you know, uh, sharing things. And what I'm going to share is what the Spirit of God spoke to me in May of 2019, everything he spoke to me about ratification coming to the remnant, coming to the sons and daughters of God, and how the Lord was speaking about already prophesying and roaring and celebrating the end of abortion legalized in this nation, and how the Lord sent me to Washington, D.C. to stand on the soil of the Supreme Court and to roar what the Spirit of God would be doing, which is destroying the Achilles heel in the heart of this nation. It was so unbelievable. Some of you remember, because I went live in 2019. It was May 26 of 2019. God actually sent me to Washington, D.C., to support my friend's movement, the Freedom March, which is those coming out of the homosexuality, the, that sexual perverted lifestyle. He has an incredible testimony and God had him release this movement that goes all over the nations. And so I came there to help um, support their tribe and give them a powerful prophetic cadence to march in Washington, D.C., and I got to march with them about roaring from the lion of the tribe of Judah, and it was just incredible. That moment is actually on Netflix. There is a documentary, and it's called Pray Away, and we have like a minute on that documentary where that powerful prophetic declaration broke out with children and their and adults and parents it was something i'll never forget and i thought i was literally going there just to do that and to fly home and the spirit of god said no kelly you are coming here as a prophet to the nations and to this nation to decree and to agree with what i already had decreed out of kim clement out of kim clement and so i saw a vision of kim clement with a staff and saying Israel is forever boom boom when he slammed it on the ground and the Lord told me to go and do the same thing but to decree there will be no more Achilles heel in the heart of this nation and so if you guys remember that what blew my mind I'm just going to tell you this short part so you guys can invite other people because it is so powerful that moment was so unbelievable that when I went to the Supreme Court, they had the doors closed. Most of the time, they had the doors open. People could go in and take a tour of the Supreme Court. The day God sent me, he did it on purpose. He made sure that those doors were closed. And let me tell you, the, those doors are like 15 feet high. You, 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 you feel like you're in Egypt. Only the governmental buildings are like 
massively huge like the Pharaoh days, okay? And when I went there and I walked up the steps and I was looking at these pillars like blown away at what I was seeing, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Kelly, look down. And when I looked, I was looking at these golden double doors on the Supreme Court of this nation, America, and I saw all these Greek gods, okay? Greek gods are literally engraved on the very wall, the very door of the Supreme Court. So there's Greek mythology, hence the Nephilim spirit, okay? Um, I'm going to be diving into this tomorrow. You don't want to miss this. So when I stood there, I was shaking with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And hes I feel the Spirit of God even right now because I remember that day, May 26, 2019, standing in front of the Supreme Court. The doors were closed. I see all these Greek gods on the doors like Troy, okay? Like the movie Troy with the Trojan horse. I see all these Greek gods, it's mythology. The Greek gods represents the Nephilim spirit where the fallen angels slept with the female humans, right? And and birthed that abomination of a breed of half man, half God. And so this is representing the Nephilim spirit. That's one of the reasons that I was deplatformed because I spoke it out last year because I literally did that. So... I looked down as the Holy Spirit speaks to me. And when I looked down at the bottom of the door, it literally said, Shield of Achilles. I was, I was so undone because the Lord literally had me prophesy when I was in the airport on the way to Washington, D.C. There will be no more Achilles heel in the heart of this nation. And like a master says to its dog, heal so shall I heal this nation. So shall I remove that Achilles heel that's been in the heart of this nation, literally with pillars of perversion upon this nation. So shall I raise up the Samsons of this hour to destroy these pillars of perversion. Oh my God. And so I never forgot that moment. And that's why this word is so serious, okay? Because God is breaking that yoke right, where this nation was yoked to that Babylon principality, was yoked to these, these Nephilim entities, okay, that were absolutely, absolutely having a feast with these aborted fetuses that are literally human beings. And I'm telling you, there were blood sacrifices. I could go into all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to do it right now, okay? But what I'm going to tell you is the Lord had me prophesy, and I was so undone. And this is something I'm going to be teaching on. When you really hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, he will bring back to you what he said to you, okay? Just like the Lord told me to call this tribe, the Cimarron tribe, no more Abbas ministry, but the Cimarron tribe. Do you know that God brought it back to me? He brought it back to me with someone that had a dream. And the Lord said, the Cimarron spirit's going to break out all over the world. Then this weekend, when I was driving back home, unbelievable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send pictures. There was a big truck from Texas that was driving past me with a big trailer. It was for cattle or horses. And the trailer on the back said Cimarron. It said Cimarron trailer. And I was like, what? And next to the word Cimarron was the word supreme. That God was speaking to me and saying, daughter, you hear me. You hear me. You're doing what I'm asking you to do. And so again, when the Lord said there will be no more Achilles heel, in the heart of this nation, he brought it back to me. He made sure that I saw that word, shield of Achilles, on the freaking Supreme Court door, okay? As a representation of the Babylonian spirit, okay? And I, I'm learning and I'm growing, and a lot of times... 
The Holy Spirit just downloads spontaneously to me and I get so wowed and so undone because what God is saying to me is, again, the Babylonian spirit is all about the Nephilim, the Nephilim breed, okay? The Nephilim breed, all the mythology, the Nephilim breed is from the fallen angels that followed Lucifer and what? They wanted to birth their own breed to control man to literally control man, to create what they want to establish in the earth, right? And so guess what? That is why Roe versus Wade was fully legalized in the heart of this nation because the word abortion is short for the word abort, abort. That means to abandon what is the divine purpose of the Lord, okay? And so I'm going to go into the depth of this that is so huge in the spiritual realm. A lot of you know and some of you don't. But this is why God is moving mightily to end this in this era. He's ending the error that was established since 1973 in the heart of this great nation. And after that, after this error happened with Roe versus Wade, that's when same-sex marriage was also brought forth and legalized with, with gay marriages and all of this. It was a the pillars of perversion that were literally established through the Nephilim spirit that was influencing the governmental arena Hollywood, all of it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I could go into it. We don't, I'm not going to do it because I got to get off this broadcast. I meant to stay on here just to say, please help me out, guys. You guys know um, your warriors, your prophetic groups. Please get them to be a part of the live broadcast that I'm going to be doing on um, this, on Facebook and YouTube. So I'll be using my StreamYard. But I will be going live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm going to go ahead and create that. So you'll get, an, it will get, um, I'll create a, a post. And then you can share that. You can actually probably share that um, on your own pages. If you can, if you don't mind. Because this is the only way that I can do it. You know, they, there's just a lot of craziness going on. But I'm sharing this journey. I'm sharing the word of the Lord. Also, I'm going to share again in 2019, July of 2019, when I saw the, the powerful encounter where I saw angelic hosts as courtroom officials that were giving Lucifer a subpoena that said lawsuits in all capital letters. And let me tell you, there's going to be major lawsuits like never before. It's going to be like the dam is broke and all these lawsuits that were thrown under the piles are being picked up because they're being made a priority. And remember, God said he's re releasing poetic justice, poetic justice, which means when something is not carried out in the courtroom, the way that it's supposed to be righteously carried out and established, then God says, you know what? If you don't want to honor my justice, I will carry out my justice by my spirit. And it will be poetic justice to my people. Okay? So we got a lot going on. So there is poetic justice that is happening right now with the end of the error concerning Roe versus Wade. I mean, my goodness, this is massive, massive, but it's connected to the shield of Achilles that has been on the two double doors, the golden double doors of the Supreme Court that God had me see after he had me roar. There will be no more Achilles heel in the heart of this nation. It is absolutely connected to the Roe versus Wade, legalizing abortion, same-sex marriage, all of this stuff. I'm telling you, it's, it's amazing how this yoke is being broken by the hand of Yahweh in our nation. And it's huge. It's huge, guys. It's huge. Glory to God. Glory to God. And I'm not going to listen to this. So I'm going to go ahead and block you, Joey, because... I don't have time for that ignorance. I just I just don't have time for it. But I bless you in the name of Jesus, but I just don't have time for that. 
So praise God. Hey, Lena. Praise God. So guys, I'm going to end this broadcast, but I'm just kind of giving you a little brief understanding of why the Lord wants me to go live, to really go deep into it. It's huge. I'm excited. I'm sure so many of you are just celebrating. Also, it's connected to, again, that prophetic word that I released in April of this year, which was the standing ovation from the cloud of witnesses that were literally applauding those who were faithful in their journey. Think about all those intercessors and watchmen. Think about all those who travailed coming against this satanic movement with the abortion that was legalized in this nation. Think about those who stood up, those who were persecuted, those lives who were threatened, those who were martyrs for Christ. We don't even know half of what so many generations went through standing up to end this thing. So to see it fall right in this nation. And so there's this standing ovation from the cloud of witnesses. And I believe it is absolutely connected to the end of this error Roe versus Wade that's being gutted out. It is being gutted out. It's like the Lord said. It's a tight squeeze to bring this nation to her knees. And I saw the Lord popping a pussy pimple. He went, he was just like this and he was squeezing it. And that's how he was squeezing everything in the heart of this nation. It was like pus. It was like pus perversion. The Lord is saying perversion is like pus in the body. Perversion is like the pus from a nasty infection from deep impurities and that's what this abortion legalized abortion this roe versus wade has been the deepest impurity that was rooted in this nation and the lord says this is the tight squeeze that's bringing this nation to her knees he's known exactly how to masterfully strategically do what he needs to do right to put those that need to be established in the governmental arena in the judicial branch of the Supreme Court to finally end this nasty, horrendous evil that's been fruit from a Nephilim spirit. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central Standard, Standard Time. Spread, spread, spread the word. The title of the message again is the end of an error in this era. Glory to God.